Hi, Shock Mesh fans. Watched American Werewolf in London. Now we're going to watch another classic werewolf from 1981 movie The Howling. Let's check it out. There's a serial killer on the loose. She's agreed to meet Eddie the Mangler, helping the police. Can I come in and see you? They're in a porno shop, and Eddie changes. Eddie or some sort of creature attacks her. Shortly thereafter, investigating Eddie's apartment. She's been traumatized by the events, of course. At the colony, Karen and her husband Bill there on the right meet a lot of strange people. That's Marsha on the left there. And John Carradine also. Slim Pickens is in this movie too. At the morgue to go see Eddie's body. Where is he? He was here this morning. God, look at the door. I don't suppose somebody could have stolen him, do you? Marsha's got her eyes set on Bill. He leaves Marsh's place and as he's walking back. And the next day, that Bill's a little different. Bill, Bill, I, hey, I'm really sorry. I totally forgot about you not eating meat. Hey, don't sweat. It's terrific. Oh, really? I get hungry enough, I'll eat anything. That night, Bill meets Marsha outside by the fire. Can't show you much more. But Bill's not normal anymore. This is Terry. She was investigating uh, Eddie Quist, the killer. And she noticed that a painting in his apartment, or a drawing, Matches the colony. Terry's investigating one of the cabins when this happens. Chopped off a wolf hand and then she watches it as it reverts back to a human hand. She explores the doctor's office looking for some more details and then she has a visitor. This is the end of Terry. Harry's man, Christopher. Fella, those are real silver. I gotta check them with a jeweler to find out what the judge. Bill me. Crazy fuck. 
Dick Miller. Karen finds her friend Terry and she also runs into Eddie. Hello, Karen. Eddie. Glad you came. I wanted to see you again. We saw you die. Look at me. I want to give you a piece of my mind. I trusted you, Karen. And he pulls out a piece of his mind, as well as the bullet. And then he starts to change into Wolf. When he's just about completely wolfed out, she throws acid on him that she found in a jar there. But she gets captured by some of the other colony members as she tries to leave. They're all wolves. Christopher runs into Eddie. You know me. And I don't know you. And why is that? Where is she? Eddie doesn't know that he has silver bullets in that gun. finds the rest of them. Backs them up and locks them all in the barn and starts it on fire. Time for them to escape. As they're escaping, one of them gets in and takes a bite out of Karen. That night she goes on the news and tells her story. Being broadcast everywhere, she turns into Chewbacca. Switch! Switch, damn it! Switch! The hamburger from the lady. And as our movie ends... Hey, you want it, huh? Let's talk about The Howling. I watched American Werewolf in London yesterday, and I watched The Howling today. Two movies, horror, two horror werewolf movies that came out in 1981. This one came out in April. American Werewolf came out in uh, August, and I saw both of them in the theater. I think, I think I saw The Howling twice, which was really cool. So anyway, what we have here is uh, it's a werewolf story where uh, D. Wallace plays this reporter, and uh, there's this guy named Eddie the Mangler who's going around killing people around L.A., and um, he somehow contacts her, and then she gets involved with the story, and uh, eventually she's like put as bait to try to capture Eddie. They do get him, they shoot him, and he's dead. Of course, she's uh, traumatized by this, so uh, her doctor, played by Patrick McNee, uh, sets her up and uh, sends her out to a... Uh, uh, a, a retreat that he has, this resort out, out in the mountains, out in, out in California somewhere, um, where he, uh, he just sends some people who just need some uh, psychiatric work, I guess. I don't know. Uh, anyway, while she's up there, her husband gets attacked uh, by some sort of wolf or something, not sure what. Next thing you know, what, what we have here is there's it's a den of werewolves, what this place is up, uh, up in this colony up there. And... Uh, uh, she eventually finds out about it and then she tries to get out of there and then they capture her and they said, you know, we've been waiting for you. We find out that, uh, Patrick McNee, who's running this place, uh, they're all werewolves and he's trying to keep them like, uh, as members of society, like they're raising cattle for their feed instead of feeding off people. But these werewolves are tired of that and they just want to go after humans. You know, humans are our prey, they say at one point, um, 
they're kind of revolting against the doctor and it so uh she called one of her friends dennis dugan i think is the actor who plays him and uh he comes with some silver bullets and he starts shooting up the place and shooting all the werewolves and he and uh, d wallace try to escape uh while they escape she gets bit and then um she goes back on the news and then she turns into a werewolf and then he shoots her and that's kind of the end of our movie so anyway that was a quick description there but i love this movie i think it's fantastic in fact i also often tell people that uh, as big a horror movie as i as a horror movie fan as i am there's really only two movies that to this day actually scare me one of them is the howling the other one is uh, salem's lot um those two movies still get me every time and uh like just the mood and the atmosphere of this movie is what really gets it like they're out in the woods and it's quiet and uh there's just a couple of crackling of some werewolves walking on uh uh, you know, the, the leaves and such. And then when that one girl, Terry, is in the cabin and the wolf starts shaking it. And um, again, just terrifying. Uh, the, everything about this movie just terrifies me. Um, I just love it. I think it's just an awesome, awesome horror movie. The special effects are fantastic. Uh, the transformation scene when you see Eddie turn, it was just unbelievable. And of course, a shout out to Elizabeth Brooks, who plays Marsha the Man Eater. Full frontal nude scene in here for her. Uh, she died very young, actually. I'm not sure exactly what it was, but Christopher Stone, who actually was D. Wallace's husband, I actually think they were engaged at the time. He plays Bill. Um, he's actually deceased, too. Uh, but D. Wallace is still with us today. Anyway, this was directed. Uh, shit, I forget to direct this. Uh, um, Toby Hooper? Well, now I'm kind of irritated that I can't remember, so I'm going to look at it. Uh, Joe Dante. Joe Dante, thank you. What an idiot. So anyway, Dick Miller's in this movie. He plays Walter Paisley once again. Um, Dick Miller's actually said of all the movies he's done, he's done like 200-some credits on IMDb, uh, this was his favorite role or his favorite movie. So that's pretty cool, right? So anyway, they have made, I think, seven uh sequels to this one um and i think they're all shit at least the ones i i, I've, I've, I haven't seen like the last one. maybe i did see the last one howling two your sister's a werewolf people seem to like that one i don't get it i just don't don't really care for that movie much actually you know it's like three and four they were okay too i think six and seven were pretty dreadful and uh, god i don't know they just all pale in comparison to this one allegedly they might be remaking this one so i don't know but anyway check it out it's the howling i'll leave a link to the blu-ray down below let me know what you think about it leave some comments the howling watch it bye Ooh.